battlefield is actually much bigger than most people imagine. Often it gets condensed down just to the church, but the church is just one building of this larger compound. We're standing in the middle of this compound. To the south, from the corner of the church to where the low barrack was, that's where the palisade would have been. And then continuing on to the south, you've got a low single-story building, which would be called the low barrack. Continuing across the street is the southwestern corner. And we know that on the first day of the siege that William Bear Travis has a cannon fired from that location into town. The west wall is actually, as we go along, about 20 feet or more inside the fronts of those buildings. So you can go into those buildings and you're still technically inside the Alamo. So the west wall goes down these three buildings, crosses Houston Street to the building that has the two blue awnings. That's the Hotel Indigo. And up on the north end of the Hotel Indigo, that's where the north wall was. And then it crossed eastward inside the U.S. Federal Building and Post Office. And then as we come back in this direction, we've got the Long Barrack. And this is part of the original structure in the church. So as we continue back, then we're back at the face of the church. But again, the main point is, it's not just the church that's the Alamo, it's its entire compound. And that's what was being defended by the Texans. Thank you.